right, what is up guys? Simon from BurningBest.com. And if you notice, I've been away for uh, a while. I had a couple things to take care of, uh, but I'm back doing more videos for you guys and I really enjoy uh, doing these things. Uh, so we'll jump right into it. So if you remember last time, uh, we did a tutorial where I showed you how to home uh, stepper motor at startup. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing today, but we're gonna use the Excel stepper library. Uh, so the setup is basically the same, except we're using a Nano instead of a Uno. And with the Excel stepper, you have control of acceleration and stuff like that. And the other thing that's different, instead of using a joystick to control uh, the stepper after the homing is done, we're going to use a serial monitor. So, so there you go. So that's what we're going to do today to follow up and finish up this, uh, this tutorial in two parts. And uh, as always, what we're going to do now, we're going to go see the code. Uh, see how it works, and then come back and test it out right here. So let's go check out the code. All right, so here's the code we're going to use today. I'm uh, going to go fairly fast. It looks a lot like the last one we did. So, But the difference is in this one, we're including the Excel stepper library. And then we create an instance of it. It's called stepper X. And then we have some uh, other pins that we use, some variables that we're going to use in our code as well. And then in the main setup, we're uh, doing serial begin because we're going to use the serial monitor to move the motor once the homing is done. Uh, some pin modes here. And here's the set max speed and set acceleration for the Excel stepper library. Uh, we set it at 100 at the beginning because we want to move slowly towards the switch since we don't really know where we are at startup. So we don't want to go too fast and crash into it. And then we print uh, some information on the serial monitor saying that the stepper is homing itself. And then we have a while loop that's going to execute until the switch is activated by the stepper. Uh, so the way you do that in Excel stepper, you say move to initial homing, which we set, I believe, to minus one to go counterclockwise. So it's going to move minus one step. Um, and then you say stepper X run to actually move the stepper. So you set the position first, and then you say run. So it's going to keep doing this until it hits the switch. And then we're going to say when it gets out of here, we're going to set the current position to zero. This is temporary because now we're moving away from the switch. Uh, so the max speed is still 100. We have to define those as well because when you set current position, the max speed and acceleration gets, um, gets put to zero by default. So you have to reset those. And the initial ohming now, we set it to one because we want to move clockwise. Uh, so the same while loop, except going away from the switch. When it breaks out of there, the switch has been unclicked. So now we say set current position to zero, and that is home now. And homing complete on the serial monitor, and we set the max speed and acceleration a lot faster now because we know where ohm is. So we're going to move to uh, to 1,000 instead of 100. And then we serial print to say uh, what kind of information we can enter in the serial monitor here. And then we have the main loop. The main loop basically takes anything that we entered in the serial monitor right here, and it checks as to make sure that we don't enter lower than zero, which would mean we would go beyond the limit switch. And in my case, I put 1350, which is uh, the maximum I could go on the uh, clockwise without hitting the switch on the other side. You'll see that when we do the testing right after this enter more information to let us know what's going on. And if uh, the values we entered are um, not smaller or greater than this, then we move the motor and we say, once we reach our destination, the move is complete. And we ask again to enter another value. So that's it, that's the code we're gonna use. So um, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go uh, to the testing and uh, see how it works. All right, so we're back and we plugged in everything. So we're giving power to the easy driver first. And then I connected the Nano and you can see the little uh, stopper is right here or switch is there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna switch to the right baud right here on my serial monitor windows and it should start right away. So let's do that. And there it goes. Stepper is ohming, it's gonna hit the switch. Homey complete, and then it tells me to enter travel distance that I want. So we're gonna go, let's say first with 500 steps, which is gonna be clockwise, so enter that. And there it goes, acceleration, de decelerates and reach the point. Uh, now we're gonna enter 550, 
And like I said, when I explain the code, it's not gonna move 550 more steps. Since it's already at 500, it's gonna move 50 steps. So let's do that. And there you go, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna try to enter, let's say minus one, which would be beyond the homing switch. And it says, please enter a value greater than zero and smaller or equal to 1350. So let's test the other one, 1355. Same thing, value is too big. So let's go 13, let's say 50, which is the maximum. There we go, moving, stopping, and just. And now let's go back to the homing, which is zero. So let's enter zero. And there it goes. Just hitting the switch a little bit, but not clicking it. Uh, so there you go, guys. That's the way it works with the Excel stepper. Uh, this is just the beginning. You can change the values, acceleration, and all that stuff. But it works fairly well. And hopefully this will help you with uh, homing your steppers and your, uh, your projects. So now let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so that'll do it for today, guys. Hopefully uh, this is helpful to some of you. Uh, I just wanna mention a lot of people ask me a question, where can I get the code and stuff like that. Uh, most videos that we do have a web page that's attached to it on our website. Uh, so I really invite you to go check out our website at brainybiz.com slash tutorials. And there you'll find a page for that particular or this particular project. And you'll find the schematic, the code, more explanation, uh, where you can download those libraries and stuff like that. So please check it out if you need more information on uh, all our videos. Uh, also, we have an online store. So basically, if you need some of these parts, we sell most of them. And if you buy some parts from us, it helps us as well. So like always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care. <laughs>